Hi friends, in this video we are going to be looking at multiplication that has numbers that end with zeros. All right, when we have numbers that end in lots of zeros, um, we can do some little tricks and shift some place value to be able to do a lot of this multiplication right in our head. Okay, so, it only, so when we have things like 100, 1000, 10,000, anything like that that ends in zeros. What we're simply going to do is we're going to look at the first numbers, all the numbers in front of the zeros. We'll come back to the zeros, but we're going to kind of skip over these for now. Okay? So we're going to look at, and we're going to get a number, or a multiplication problem that's a little bit easier. All right? So 4 times 1 is simply 4. All right? So I will write that. It's simply 4. Now what we're going to do is we are going to count up how many zeros we have. We have one zero. We have two zeros. Okay? 4 times 1 is 4. We have two zeros, so that tells us that we need to change the place value. We need to add two different place value spots onto the end of our number. Okay? We have 4 times 1. We had two zeros, so I'm going to add two place value spot. What we did is typically our decimal is right there, and we've shifted it over two spots. So our decimal now is right over there. When we move place value over, we create these blank spots. And we know that whenever we create a blank spot, we fill it in with zeros. All right, so that place value has shifted over two spots. We did 4 times 1, a simple one, and then we just added two place values because 0 has that power. So 4 times 100 is 400. Okay, let's look at another one. 1,000 times 7. Okay, I see that there are three zeros here. 1, 2, 3. I'm going to just kind of ignore those for now. We'll come back to them later. And I'm just going to take 1, times 7. 1 times 7 is 7. I see that there are 1, 2, 3, 0. So I'm going to leave three place value spots. 1, 2, 3. We've shifted that over three spots. And now we fill those blank spots in with zeros. So 1 times 7 equals 7,000. All right, fairly simple. But this, this, this kind of trick works even if we're not dealing with something that has a 1 in the front of it. So I have this problem, 70 times 40. We can solve this very quickly because we look at, all right, I have a 0 here. I'm going to skip it. This one ends in 0. I'm going to skip it. And I'm just going to multiply the first two numbers. All right, I know that 7 times 4 is 28. I see I have two zeros, meaning I have to leave two place value spots. We're moving that decimal place over to make sure we don't forget about those zeros. And then we fill them in. So 70 times 40, the answer to that is 2,800. We moved that place value over two spots because we had two zeros. All right, let's look at one more. 300 times 20. Skip over these zeros for now. Those are three place value spots we're going to shift over later on or add in later on. I see I'm going to look at the front. Three times two. Three times two is six. I see we have one, two, three place value spots we need to move over. So one, two, three. Those are all blank spots. We simply fill them in with zeros, meaning that our final number... Finer an final answer for this problem is 6,000, okay? So this only works when we have zeros at the end. If we had a number, if we had something like this, 302 times 20, wouldn't work because it has to end in zeros. But when we have that, it's pretty easy to do, all right? So now you're going to go practice a few on your own. Good luck.